I'm sure that some of you watching this lesson are letting out a sigh of frustration at the thought that Facebook is actually regulating the Messenger ecosystem. Unfortunately, anymore, it's not just the Wild West. You can't send whatever messages you want whenever. Facebook is enforcing their policies, which might seem frustrating and annoying at first, but the reality is it's actually good and healthy for the Messenger ecosystem, because unlike email where messages are getting caught in junk and you're being abused and spammed and exploited, in Messenger, by regulating it, Facebook is really ensuring that the quality and the experience is there, that it's rooted in value instead of just trying to make sales or spam people. So at the end of the day, it's really a positive and optimistic future. That being said, there still are policies and you need to abide by them and know what they are. So the key takeaway, as mentioned in previous videos, is tagging your messages, right? So. In terms of the bot experience itself, when users are just going through at their own pace, there's nothing you need to worry about there. It just comes down to broadcasting and sending sequences. So the key takeaway is these message tags here, which basically identify the type of message that you are sending to users so that Facebook knows if it falls between one of two categories. And those two categories are users who have interacted with your bot in the past 24 hours and those who have not interacted with your bot in the past 24 hours. Basically, what it comes down to is if somebody has interacted with your bot recently, specifically in the past day, then you can send them promotional content uh, using this update tag. So you can tell them about a product, you can sell them, give them coupon codes, whatever the case might be, there's no sort of restriction in the type of promotional content you can send those users. On the other hand, if you're trying to send a message to somebody who hasn't interacted with your page in six months, then for that you need to use the subscription tag. It has to be just informational content that the user has subscribed to receive and you can't send them you know, very promotional or salesy content. So that's the key takeaway. When you're sending promotional content, use the update tag. When you're sending just informational or educational content, use the subscription tag. Now, another element of this, which does complicate things a little bit, is Facebook in the future will require per page you need to get approved for subscription messaging. So in other words, even if you don't wanna send promotional content, you'll still need to get approved by Facebook if you qualify as one of the eligible use cases, which are news, productivity, and personal trackers. If you are an e-commerce business in the future, it's likely the case that you will not just be able to send non-promotional content because in other words, Facebook wants you to pay to run sponsored messages to retarget these people instead of just kind of free riding with the subscription tag. So if you'd like to apply for the page level subscription, if you are within one of those qualifying use cases, news, productivity, and personal trackers, you can go into your page settings of the business page that you're managing. Under Messenger Platform, you can scroll down and under where it says Subscription Messaging, you can click to request that and fill out the necessary form to try to qualify for that. But again, if you are running any sort of business where you're selling products or services, chances are you're not gonna get approved for that and you're gonna need to use the update tag to just interact with people who have engaged with your bot in the past day or you'll need to run Facebook ads retargeting those people and paying Facebook so they get a piece of the pie of what you're selling. So all of that said, hopefully that helps you better understand the policies, but if you are still confused in any way, feel free to join the Messenger Platform Developer Community on Facebook. This is a resource run by some people at Facebook and also volunteers who moderate the community. So this is a great place if you have more detailed questions that you'd like to get answers to or case specific questions you might have. I highly recommend you join this group and post your question there as you'll probably get a more helpful answer since these people are Facebook insiders and they know what's happening. Uh, whereas here at Chatfuel, we can't always be at the liberty of interpreting their policies. So hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the Messenger platform developer community, or you can also email us team at chatfuel.com for questions related to these tags that you might have.